Dorian, we've missed you these last two games. How are you doing and how is the ankle? Um, it's rough. Um, you know, I don't like sitting, but, uh, you know, I got to take care of myself. Uh, it's just one of the, those injuries, you know, when you hurt your ankle and it's, it's weak, so it's kind of, you know, it's kind of easy for you to, you know, turn it again, and uh, that's what happened. What's it been like these last few days, just the recovery process and like kind of where you are on your timeline right now? Um, I just you know, um, started running a little bit today, you know, um, so it's, it's, it's a process, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to get out there and play. Say get re ready to get out there and play. Can we see you, can we expect to see you tomorrow night against the uh, Sixers? Nah, nah, I ain't going to be, I, like I said, I just, I just, you know, um, you know got, just started getting on the court. So uh, it's going to be a process, but, you know, it won't keep me out that long. Yeah. When, when, you, when you fell on that play, it was a heck of a defensive play, but did you, you seemed like you got up and knew something was wrong. Like, what did you feel exactly when, when that play happened? Um, it just was awkward, you know. Um, I kind of slammed on my, on my ankle, and um, you know, I knew something was off. Uh, but it, it, I think, like, three, three possessions done went by, and it was one of those funny... You know, one of those funny deals where, you know, we're waiting on a, a, a timeout to come, you know, any any dead ball to happen. So I knew won't nobody going to burn a timeout. So I was just trying to, you know, get, you know, get get to the next timeout, but also, you know, try to win those possessions I was in. So I didn't move much, but I still I think I still contested a shot while I was limping up and down. Yeah, we saw you call for a, for a, a sub and after you got, if you fell, so it almost felt like, it seemed a little serious when you, when you yeah, fell over. That, that, me asking for a sub wasn't for my ankles because I was a little tired. <laughs> <laughs> I was I, I asked for a sub before I hurt my ankle. You know, um, and like I said, it was one of those, you know, moments in the game where both teams tired and, you know, we I think we was like three or four, you know, um, three or four transition plays. I think they we we scored once. Cam got the layup, but. You know, it was just a, a weird, a weird situation because I think no timeout was called yet, and we just was, felt like a track meet. But it was that play where you made that block and fell. That's where it happened. That was that was. Yeah. Yeah. Aside from obviously being disappointed, you missed the next game. What did you see from the bench with uh, Ben's return? Yeah, he's oh, expected man. to play tomorrow. Man, he played with uh, the team. Came out with a lot of energy, and uh, Ben brought that energy. You know, playing with Ben, you know, you got to get out of run, and um, that's that's what happened. You know, playing with somebody like that who's. A fast break when every time he touched the ball, you know, um, you know, guys running. You know, uh, you know, if I'm playing with Ben, I'm for sure gonna be running to the corner hard trying to get a shot because he gonna give it to you and he gonna be yelling at you if you don't shoot it. So. And pace has been an emphasis all year, whether he's in the lineup or not. But what does it do to have? I mean, it seems like he really organized the transition offense and kind of guys were more clear, filling lanes and just a plan of attack in, in transition. Did you know, you just that way? you just get guys uh, more open looks. You know, um, I feel like Mikhail got a bunch of those looks too. Um, he got a lot more, you know, transition threes. I feel like he been shooting a lot more threes. You know, when bro on the court and uh, you know, like I said, it gives our. Uh, you know, our offense a chance to play against uh, not set defense, and uh, you know, and that's an advantage for us. Going forward, I guess what's, I guess, are they giving you like a, a prognosis how many, how long this could be, or anything for you, or just? Um, no, they just, you know, we're gonna shoot for um, Monday and um, see how it looks, you know. But for, just try to get out there and uh, and uh, you know, win some games, man. We're trying to steal some games before the break. You know, that's usually the times where. You know, a team either ready for break or, you know, um, in our situation trying to, you know, steal these games. Do you feel like defensively, because of the strides you guys made, that can kind of help a little bit? Because it seems like even though, the all, even though the wins didn't come, defensively you guys made improvements. So do you think that can carry over in February? For sure. You know, and you got to look at the positives. Um, like you said, we've been, we've been guarding a lot better. Um, you know, uh, me personally, uh, I, I, I was in a little shooting slump, and you know, I finally started making shots, and I get banged up. Some, which is some bullshit. I mean, it's some, it's some, uh, which is messed up. But uh, you know, injuries is part of the game. But like, it's, like you said, we've been playing a lot better on that end of the, on that end of the court, and uh, we just got to keep building on it. How are you just, feeling ahead of the trade deadline now? Less than a week away. Is it hard to block out those thoughts, especially as you're not playing? It's a different time. You know, uh, I would say back in the day it was easier because you know everybody didn't have social media. 
But, you know, now that, you know, my kids, you know, my daughter got social media and stuff like that. So, you know, it's hard not to not not to you know hear about it, but it's, it's what comes with this time of time of the year. Despite a, a rough stretch, it seems like I mean, when we're here for shoot around and practice, it seems like the vibes are still up, like guys laughing. In no a good question. Mood. Guys still excited to come to work. Come on, man. We uh we play basketball, man. So it's it's we doing what we love. You know, we gotta appreciate everything. It's like I said, this is what comes with it. Um, you know, uh, I, I done been on a bunch of teams where the team looked different after All Star break, and uh, also been on teams where it looked the same after All Star break. So. Um, you just gotta keep your keep your head straight. Can't get too high. Can't get too low. Jordan, will you travel to Philadelphia for the I mean, game? I've been in Philly, man. You know, I'm searching for a cheese steak. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, it's been a year about since you got traded here. Yeah. Just what are your impressions of the city and living here, and like kind of how you gotten to know your surroundings? Man, I, I I love I love New York now, man. It's been you know at first I was you know cooped up in the hotel, you know. Uh, I'm a country guy, so it was a little overwhelming last year, but you know, I try to embrace it this year. Now I just need some sun. If uh, we get some sun, I'll be happy. Is there a cheesesteak spot you like in Philly, or just gotta find one wherever? Um, Lonnie said he's gonna take me somewhere, you know, so I'm gonna just listen to whatever he tells me. Hey, Delisandro's. Yeah, I, I had Delisandro's, but Lonnie said I don't know Philly, so I'm just, I'm just listening to him. <laughs> All right, so we're here to share that spot with you guys.